So you have a computer running Windows 10 and you'd like to update it to Windows 11. So do I. However, when you go to update, you are greeted with this message. This PC doesn't currently meet the minimum requirement to run Windows 11. Let's see how we can get around this. First, head over to the FIM Electronic Repairs Forum and click on this thread. How to update an unsupported computer to Windows 11. Three easy steps. Your first step is to download a clean copy of Windows 11 ISO. A link here is provided, which is directly from Microsoft. You would scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image. The next step is to mount the ISO to the PC you want to update. So I've already downloaded this ISO onto my desktop. As you can see here, this is the ISO Windows 11. You can mount the ISO by double clicking on it. And as you can see, it's now mounted. We click on this PC and we see here, in my case, it's mounted to the E drive. The third and final step is to run the following script, which can be found here at this link. Again, I've already downloaded this script and it's here on my desktop. Right click on the script and click run as administrator. There's a countdown and that's it. It's all done. Now you can simply go ahead, click on the installer, run the setup and you will now be able to install Windows 11 without any warning. Now this method begs the question, if it is possible, why did Microsoft block users from simply updating their Windows 10 machine to Windows 11? And the answer varies depending on who you ask. Some people I speak with believe big companies like Microsoft and Apple sometimes want you to buy new hardware so they can make more money. However, I'm not sure about this in this situation. If we look again at the error message, it says your PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements to run Windows 11. So let's look on the Microsoft website to see what are these requirements. Here, there's a page from Microsoft.com which lists the requirements for running Windows 11. For the most part, your computer probably meets all these requirements apart from this one, TPM. Now, simply speaking, TPM relates to your processor, which is hardware. Computer vulnerabilities usually fall into two categories, software and hardware. Software vulnerabilities can usually be patched or resolved with software updates. However, hardware vulnerabilities sometimes require you to change your hardware. In this case, it's possible that's what's happening. Hence, even though it's technically possible for you to update to Windows 11, Microsoft may have made this decision to ensure computers and software run in a more secure environment. At least that's what I think. I'd be happy to hear the thoughts of others. In either case, at least you now have an option. You can install the program, test it out, run the updates, see if it works for you or you can upgrade your computer. Now let's head back over to the installation and see how it's progressing. Eventually, you'll get to this window informing you that you're about to install Windows 11. Notice I've also selected the option to keep personal files. This is optional. Next, we click install and we just wait for Windows 11 to be installed. This will take a little while 
we'll come back to after the installation has been completed. Okay, the installation ran successfully and we are now running Windows 11 Pro. We can confirm this by right-clicking on the Windows icon, which is now positioned in the center of the screen, instead of the usual spot at the bottom left-hand side. And we see we are indeed running Windows 11 Pro. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.